Alright guys, just want to make a little video here talking about the ABS light, brake light, and traction control light coming on on the HHR. This is a 2007 2.4 uh, 2LT. Apologize for the wind noise in the background. It's about 50 miles an hour wind. Um, I've got the plug for the ABS pump right there. And it's going to be really hard to see, but where that harness is is basically where it plugs in. So I've got the connector pulled up. I've got the uh, ProDemand wiring diagram. And you can see it matches there. I've got the new... Uh, sorry for the glare there. 1.4 on the screen there. Kilo ohms. Got the new um, assembly mounted bearing and ABS sensor replaced the wire as well uh, it was I had a bad wheel bearing on the passenger front and replaced it with two new GM um, I think it was FW 299 is what I replaced it with um, about three months later I started having ABS and traction control lights coming on um, measured the resistance of the old hub over there and it was 27 mega ohms um, at this connector right here uh, it was affected by water one other thing i wanted to talk about if you guys are chasing problems uh, this connector by the way you pull that red red tab here straight up that way and unplugs the connector that way from from down inside there um, the other issue i had was let's see which one is it uh the number 26 right there the number 26 ground which is right there which is that pin right there obviously want to inspect inside of there for any green corrosion or anything um this was all fine for me the issue that i was having was Right down in here, this is the fuse box, obviously, I got all the covers and everything off, laying up there, but if you go down right there, that ground stud, you can see I've got a new terminal on it, but that, where that blue, where that blue terminal is, had a factory lug on it, and it was completely covered with green corrosion. So if you're having issues with ABS and you're throwing parts at it, like I am, May want to, sorry about that noise there. You may want to check that ground right there. That ground is for the EBCM, which is right here, electronic brake control module, and it goes right here on that connector. So after your repair, make sure you measure resistance from, you know, any ground, uh, this ground, that ground, to that pin, and make sure it's it's low resistance or no resistance. Uh, if you want to, you know, there's plenty of plenty of wire here where you can pull it up out and work with this. Um, cut the wire off right here and reground it up here somewhere. Make sure it's nice and shiny. But if you want to, if your wire's in good shape, you can go ahead and repair it over there. Um, hopefully that helps people. Uh, I went ahead and checked. There's two powers going into that connector as well, uh, which was. And 14 and pin 1. So 1 and 14 here on this end of the connector should be 12 volts. I think there's one ignition wire, uh, which is number 20, ignition 1. So 20 would be over here. So just count the pin numbers, and these are marked. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that. You can see the 1 right there and the 14 right there so you're just going to count so it'll be 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and that would be number 20 right there so you check for ignition right there i'm um, sorry for the shaky video and the wind noise and all the all the noise here but um just wanted to post that gives you an idea of how the system works how to measure the resistance up here if you're not getting the correct ohm reading up here, then obviously you're going to have to chase, 
you know, the wiring down to the wheel speed, uh, down to that wheel speed, uh, the connector lives, there's the shock tower, lives down in there, and I, I know you can't see that, apologize for the lighting, but the left front lives over here, the right front should be the only wire hanging down right here, um, there should be a connector there. Uh, the back ones, I don't have a diagram, but they're also in this one. All of the new uh, wheel speed sensors I measured at around 1500 kilo ohms. Hopefully I'm saying that right, but uh, or 1.5 kilo ohms. Um, the spec sheet on Protoman says uh, 850 to 1150 or 1250 or something like that. The back ones on this vehicle work fine. I have no issues with that. There were no codes for the back ones. And they're at 1.5 kilo ohms also. So the new ones measure 1.5. Like I said, that bad one right there measured 27 mega ohms. So it's a good place to do an easy check right there. Uh, hopefully this helps you understand. This, this applies to HHRs, Cobalts, um, anything with this platform. GM in general, I think, of this vintage around 2007. Anyways, um, don't want to ramble too much. Hopefully that helps you guys understand the system where you can do some testing. Basic voltmeter and the ohm scale. You don't have to have a fluke, just any old uh, voltmeter will do. Um, not a bad idea to use a test light on your ground. Um, you're unplugging this with the key on, you are going to set codes. So if you don't have a scan tool, keep that in mind. You're going to cause some codes to come in. I don't know if they'll clear themselves out. I've got a scan tool that is fully capable of doing that, but um, at least that gives you some idea of what some of the tests you can do are. Uh, don't just throw parts at it, prove that you need the parts. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't want to ramble too much, but hopefully that helps you. Am I in the video there? Thanks for watching.